Okay, I'm getting ready to let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Just a couple more pieces of tape. I don't want to get any snow on the detail, so I'm taping it all up. Okay, now I'll put some snow down here on the bottom and maybe just a little around here where, her, you know, the snow would gather here. And we're going to put snow up here. I've got the Indian lady's face all taped up. I don't want any snow on her face. Because snow, a light snow hitting a person's face would almost immediately uh, melt. I've got my base all covered with snow the way I want it. So that'll be sitting on there like that. Already looks pretty good. I've got my feather here, but uh, I just did this this morning, so it's not really dry yet, so I can't do anything with it yet. But what I did do is I made me a staple, wire staple, using, using that galvanized wire, and this will go right in here, like that, and that will be glued in place, okay? So right now we're going to go make some snow. Okay, we're sitting over here. Got my snow maker right here, snow machine. I've got me some white paint here with a little water. Now you guys might have done this in school. So we're going to put a little snow on her head. Not a lot. We don't want a lot. Just a little bit. Snow will collect on top of the head in the hair more than it will collect on the side, so we're going to put more up here. I'm trying to be as careful as I possibly can because you only get one shot at this. Put a little bit down here on her braid. That's enough for her, so we're just going to lay her down here. And look at there, I've splattered my coat. Look at that. Well, hang on here. That's not a, it's, that, it's no problem. You know, it's snowing. You don't know where this stuff's going. Actually, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to get my thing here because I don't want to handle the body while I'm doing this. Because if you get some white paint on your finger, and then you're making snow, you're going to be in trouble. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this right around the upper edges of the blanket where it's folded over. Some snow on our matches the 
made a scene a long time ago of two Indians standing around a fire in the snow next to where they're working on the road and there was a road construction guy there cooking his weenie, his hot dog, on that fire and the two, uh, two Indians were all wrapped up in their blanket blankets and uh, one of the Indians had a baseball cap on it and on the front of it it had a uh, patch for a local casino around here and it really looks slick I mean it, I spent a lot of time painting that little design on that baseball hat and then I went to put snow like we're doing here on those Indians and uh, when I finished that little design, it just about disappeared under the snow, but it was too late. I could, there's no way I could have uh, saved that by going back and trying to do it over again. So I just let it go. And I told the person who bought the piece about that. You know, you have this beautiful, beautiful piece of art buried underneath the The snow. Okay, now down here on the bottom. I'm just randomly putting some snow around here. Like that. And then I'm going to dip my brush in here and along the bottom here I'm going to make it heavier because her dress would be dragging in the snow as she walked around. I noticed in the last video I did where I showed how to do the earrings and what else did we do? I can't remember. Most of it was earrings that took the longest, longest period. But I had some likes and I had one dislike on the YouTube video. Now I don't get many dislikes. That was the first one I've seen. And it would really be interesting for me to know if that person sees this video. If he could leave a comment down below so I could see exactly what he disliked or she disliked about it. It's important to me. There we go. I think that's good. See any spots? No, nope, I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go set this out in the sun, and we'll be back here in just a second. Okay, remember I said that some of the paint dries glossy, more glossy than other areas because I double coated it. So this is Tester's Dull Coat. You can find it at Hobby Lobby. It's D-U-L-C-O-A-T. And what it is, it's a paint lacquer that... Uh, modelers use to dull the finish on their plastic models okay this is a lacquer the varnish I put on here is a mineral based varnish these two things don't mix but if you're careful with this and just use a real light spritzing application you can get away with it so that's what I'm going to do That's all it needs, just like that. Now I'm going to go over and heat it up with my uh, hair dryer, and we'll see what happens. We go one more little spritz there. Okay. okay. I dried it with the hair dryer, and you can see it's no longer. I mean, it's still got a little sheen to it, but that's okay. But it's no longer really shiny, which is what what we want. Okay. So now the paint is finished. Spraying that dull coat on there, kill the sign, but it also sort of 
set the color that we added by the snow. All right. So I'm going to take this off now. I'm going to turn around here to my uh, base. There's the front of the piece right there. Take my Indian lady off. She's dry. I'm just going to sit her on there as a test. And here's her feather. Like I said, I haven't finished that yet. This, uh, what I did is, uh, this is the natural color of the modeling compound. Gee, i got snow all over my hands. And it's not even cold, cold outside. This is that modeling compound. I just kind of stippled it on there, and I will paint that because the Indians uh, put feathers, little fluffy feathers, down at the base of their their feathers, overall feather, to make it make them look really snappy. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish there. So this will go up in there like that. around to its best position. I don't want her looking straight on. And there she is. I have two more small things to do aside from painting that feather which is going to be white with black up here at the end. An eagle feather and then probably yellow uh, back on that fluffy feather with a gray quill. When I'm gluing her to this rock, on those two posts, I'm going to use epoxy, and I'm going to put a drop of epoxy on each eye to make them sparkle. Okay, it almost looks like she have glass eyes. And then uh, we'll do well, I won't make another video. I was going to do it, do it for the videos. You can go to my blog once I get all these things done. And I'll have a picture of her there, several pictures of her there. And uh, a little discussion about, you know, how it ended up and what I like about it, what I don't like about it, if I don't like something about it. And uh, that'll take care of this project. And then we will try to find something else fun to do. Okay? So... Until then, I'll talk to you later.